Hello there, Andrew Rondo from WeBuildYourBlog.com and in this video I'm going to talk about internal linking and hopefully making it easier uh, to enable you to do some internal linking with a little find of a WordPress plugin which I found this week. Now why internal link and what is internal linking I should say first. Now if you look at a blog post quite often you'll see that it links to another one on the same site so this is one of my recent blog posts and here's a link uh, the link is outsource your writing so the anchor text is outsource your writing and that's the definition of the anchor text it's a text which you use to then link to another blog post so if I click on that what will happen is that it will open up another blog post on my site and the reason I'm doing that is one is I want my visitors to stay a little bit longer I want them to read this blog post and then I want them to go over to this other blog post over here and I want them to read that one as well and if I come down there could be another link as well there's another one here and another one here it's about videos and that sort of thing so if I go over to the other blog post you'll see that so it's opened up this blog post here and there's another link there on that one as well onto another blog post etc etc so so one of the reasons why you do internal linking is keeping your visitors on your blog posts, on your blog, a little bit longer than what they may be anticipated to. So instead of being 20 seconds, they spend one minute, two minute, 10 minutes. And Google monitors that. And what Google do, they, they think, well, if your visitors are on your blog, or looking on your blog for, for 10 minutes at a time or, or whatever it is and Google thinks that well it must be a good site people are interested in it etc etc so the fact that they uh, are on your blog quite often or, or in a, a long length of time is good that's why you do internal linking one of the reasons so you're making it easy for your visitors to to navigate around your blogs and, and read in different advice which you're sharing the other thing is is that by linking to certain blog posts you can actually increase the page rank of a blog post now if I click on my home page um, uh, where's my little thing let me just click on here right so page rank a lot of people poo poo page rank a lot of people really love page rank Google provide page rank for every blog site or every website there is out there and based upon that page rank it improves your search engine rankings. They say it improves the amount of traffic you get. But if you advertise or you sell advertising on space on your blog, you can charge more the higher your page rank is. So my blog, uh, webuildyourblog.com, is page rank four. So there it is there, it says page rank four. Now, if you do internal linking to some of your other blog posts, some of your other blog posts will actually get their own page rank as well. And and that's good because you're sharing the page rank across the whole of your site and not just on your home page. So yes, your home page will come up in the search engines. But if you've got other blog posts which are, you know, a page rank four or page rank three, then then they will turn up in the higher up in the search rankings and get more traffic. It's and Google will love them and all that sort of thing. So it's worth doing the internal linking but bear in mind it's not just internal linking which which talks about which which determines your page rank on other blog posts there's lots of other backlinks from other websites and all that sort of thing as well but we're here we're talking about internal linking so if I click on this one here this blog post here this is a blog post um, 43 blogger tips what you should do after installing WordPress and this is just an individual blog post okay and a lot of people are linked to it. I do a lot of internal linking to it. And you can see up here, it's got a page rank three. So that's an individual blog post, not an over, my overall blog. My overall blog is page rank four. This one is a page rank three of a particular blog post. Uh, I've got another one here. Uh, tips for making Google crawl your blog more often. That's page rank three as well. So it is definitely worth doing the internal linking to keep your visitors happy keeping them help them navigate around uh, and also at, that tells Google that people and visitors like your blog site but you're also improving the 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 page rank around now the problem I've always had is that you know I've got 
hundreds of blog posts and whenever I come on come along and write a blog write a new blog post like for instance this one um, where was I? I was on the the if I scroll down it was this one here so you write a blog post and you think right what other blog posts can I do an internal link to and you forget you've written so many different blog posts you forget so I this week I found a great little um, plugin and what that plugin does is it helps you find some internal uh, blog posts so let me show you here's my dashboard and I've started to write this particular plug um, this particular blog post which I'm now videoing so it is here's my introduction and what you can do um, I'm gonna show you the plugin in a moment but once you've installed this plugin what you, after you've installed it you get this little box here called insights and what you can do you can say well I'm gonna highlight what I think I want to link to another blog post to about so I'm gonna copy and paste internal links if I copy and paste internal links down here and then you can check click on what you want to do a search on so you could search on my blog which I'm going to do now if I, so if I do a search for internal links on my blog what it will do it will come up with blog posts associated with internal links so here I've got a blog post here get backlinks here are the 11 methods of backlink tools I use and all what I need to do is say well I want to make that an anchor text is click that button there and it will say great that's now an internal link using the anchor text of internal links to that particular blog post um, so I could come over here and I could do SEO if I copy and paste SEO and do another search up will come all my blog posts where it's got SEO so I could five basic WordPress SEO tips everyone should follow so I could do an internal link on on that one and so on and so on and that's how easy it can be to find relevant blog posts uh, to to do some internal linking to from your the blog post which you're writing so you can just publish that and it go live and those internal links using those internal uh, using that anchor text will be done dusted live now the plugin uh, I shall put the link within the blog post beneath the video but the plugin which you install is this one here and it's called insights so you could just do a search for insights you download it install it and then once you've installed it and activated it you get this little box below the area where you can do your searching but you don't just you can't you don't have to just search on your blog you can search for images videos you can search on Google uh, all sorts of things so it's not just internal link and if you wanted to link to someone else so if you did a Google search for uh, internal links as an example yep, up would come so up would come some blog posts about uh, internal links on on other blogs so you could link to them if you wanted to as well but as I say I'm just talking about uh, internal links to my own blog post at the moment so that's that's how you do it nice and easy go and get the insights plugin install it start playing around and start building your internal linking uh, keep your customers happy your visitors happy and then they can start being um, on your blog site a little bit longer than what they maybe currently are and that's all there is to that video all the best Andrew Rondo we build your blog.com see you all very very soon all the best bye bye